Hi booktube and welcome to my channel. I'm Nicole. I have a book haul for you guys. Now I don't know about you, but these are probably my favorite videos on booktube. I love reviews. I love book tags. I, I love all the videos, but these are the best kind of videos because you get such a wide variety of different types of books and I always find a lot of new books more so in these videos than any other type of videos. So I went to a book sale a couple weeks ago. Um, well, first of all, this is through my local library. We have a great library system here. We have actually three branches in my town. The library that I usually go to, which is closest to me, they have this cute, quaint little like bookshop inside the library as soon as you walk in. And I'm always finding good little books in there. There are books that were donated to the library, books that the library, for whatever reason, no longer has use for, so they put them in there to sell them to make money for the library. So you're not only getting great books, but you're supporting your local library, so I'm all for that. And two, three times a year, they always have a, what's called a Friends of Library book sale. Now what's in those, that little bookstore is not all the books that they have. They have a huge collection of books that they sell that they bring out for these book sales. They have a community room that they open up and it's bigger than the downstairs of my house. It is huge. They have just tables and rows and rows of books, every genre you can imagine. They have newer novels, they have bestsellers, they have classics, they have nonfiction. You never know what you're gonna find, and I, I love that. I, you know, if I go into Barnes & Noble, it's because I know what I'm getting. Maybe I can't find it at my library, maybe it's a series I own and I wanna buy the next book. I know what I'm going in there for. These type of sales are great because I never know what I'm gonna find. If I'm gonna discover a new author, you know, you're gonna get duds sometimes, unfortunately, but most of these books are less than a dollar, so who who cares? It's it's completely worth it, as far as I'm concerned. Um, excuse me. Yes, it is, I think, afternoon, and I am on my second cup of coffee today, so don't judge me. <laughs> it's one of those lazy days I'm gonna drink coffee all day, but look the cutest mug you've ever seen. I love cute little mugs like that. I kind of collect them, but that's that's another topic. So let's get started on this book haul. The first book is Curse the Dawn by Karen Chance. Pretty sure I've heard of this author. author. I, I'm not sure if I've read any of her books, but her name sounds really familiar. It's a Cassie Palmer novel, and that also sounds familiar to me. So I'm trying to remember if I've read any of these. Um, but it's urban fantasy. I love these kind of books. It's it's my favorite genre. I probably own more urban fantasy than any type, other type of books. A lot of them are series, and I much prefer to read series over standalone books. So I'll probably really enjoy this. We'll see. The next one is Wolfblade by Jennifer Fallon. Never heard of this. It's actually a series or a trilogy, looks like. Never heard of the author, but it looks like a, or it is a fantasy, I think with some romance thrown in and it just sounded interesting, very, very complex society, um, princes and royalty, court politics, that kind of stuff. I, I, I like those kind of books. And then the next one, probably everybody knows, The Reader by Bernard Schlink, I think I'm saying that. Um, I've never, I wanted to read this book, I haven't. You know, I, I think about picking it up and then I don't. I end up watching the movie, which was so beautiful and I've heard such wonderful things about this book, of course. It, it's just, I've been wanting to read it for so long and now that I have a copy, don't have a lot of excuses, so I'm gonna read it. And then I got a biography. I don't read a lot of biographies. It has to really be a person I am very, very interested in. Um, this is called A Lady First, and it's on Jackie Kennedy. Um, I've always been fascinated by the Kennedy family, the history, even the conspiracies going on around their family. 
So I, I thought that this would be interesting. I love reading about that type of life and people in politics. So she, she was a very, very interesting lady. And then I picked up, I have, I think I have volume one, but this is one of the Buffy Omnib Omnibus books. I think I only have the first one. Um, if you don't know me, I am obsessed with Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Uh, the show came out when I was in high school, so I completely related to the underlying themes of, you know, high school being such a difficult time in your life and finding who you are and fighting your demons and, and, and all of that. And I still love the show. It's my favorite show of all time. I watch it, rewatch it at least once a year. I recently have been getting my 13 year old daughter into it and she is enjoying it. She actually came to the book sale with me and this was a book that she was interested in as well. So we were like, of course we gotta get, pick that up. All right, this is another author I had not heard of and I got two books from her. I got Twilight Fall from Lynn Veal. I don't know how you, that's how you say that, V-I-E-H-L, and Evermore. These look like paranormal romance, kind of um, Sherilyn Kenyon uh, type books, which, you know, J.R. Ward, those kind of books. I, I love those. I have not been reading as many of those lately as I used to. I used to read like nothing but these for a, a longest time um, I've kind of shied away from them a little bit but I really when I'm in the mood I really really do enjoy these type of novels um, this one I was excited about um, just when I saw this I picked up this book it's called hunted by Kevin Hearn and I saw the sticker on it that said autograph copy um, I have heard of Kevin Hearn. I have not read any of his books, so I have no idea if I'll enjoy them, but I love books that are autographed. I have several books, um, people I've met in person, people I have not, like maybe I won a contest and got a, a signed book from somebody. So I got so excited, and where is it? You can kind of read it right under his printed name so I figured if I read this and I liked it I will be so excited that I have an autograph copy so and it's I believe this is the first in the series as well so that's I like it I can pick up the rest of the series and then I got two books from another two books from the same author a different author um, Juliet Blackwell it's hexes and hemlines and then this one is Secondhand Spirits. These look like really light, cute, quirky, um, kind of fantasy mysteries. I, I used to read a lot of mysteries when I was younger. I don't anymore, but I'm trying to get back into that. And I love the mixture of fantasy and mystery. Um, I usually don't read <laughs> Like these covers are very cutesy, which is not, I'm a very visual person. I go for book covers. Like if I see something that I really am attracted to, I'll buy that without really knowing what the book is. Or if I see something that sounds interesting with an ugly cover, I'm like, eh, I don't know if I want that. Which I know is stupid, but I, I'm totally a sucker for book covers. And these are a little cutesy, but sometimes I get in the mood to read something light that you can, you know, these 300 pages, yeah, they're both about 300 pages, that you can sit down in one or two readings and it's just such a quick, fast read. You can really get through them, so I'll try them out. I don't know how many are in the series, but they look cute. And then this, Mystic River by Dennis Lehane. I... This is another book where I've seen the movie and have not read the book. I didn't even realize it was a book when I saw the movie. But if you've ever seen this movie, this movie is incredible. 
you know, Sean Penn, Kevin Bacon, Tim Robbins, it's directed by Clint Eastwood. You know, totally an emotional roller coaster. It's just, it's a haunting story. So amazing. I'll probably read this and then rewatch the movie because I haven't seen it in a few years, but uh, hopefully I'll like the book. I'm sure I will. If you've not watched the movie, watch the movie. It is really, really amazing. All right, this, um, The Birth of Venus by Sarah Durant. I must say I can't remember what this is about. I loved the, I think it was the, the title in the picture that kind of caught my attention. It is, oh, it's kind of set during the Renaissance period and famous art, artists and a man trying to set the future for his daughter. I love historical pieces. I think that's why I picked it up. I also love art. I recently took a art history class and was just enthralled by the whole class. And it kind of made me think of everything I'd learned in that when I saw this book. That's why I grabbed that. Um, this book, this is another book that never heard the book, never heard the author, but it sounded really interesting. Um, it is Lipstick in Afghanistan by, let's see, Roberta Gately. The, the title kind of caught my attention, you know, Lipstick Afghanistan, it didn't, didn't seem to go together. And then I picked up, started reading the back, and it's about an ER nurse from Boston who ends up going to Afghanistan after 9-11. And as somebody who is in nursing school, that I, I like reading those types of books, you know, books about medicine and nursing specifically. Um, obviously everybody was affected by 9-11 and stuff like that, so that's something that's very emotional for most people. They feel very strongly about those events. It's one of those, you know where you were that day, um, the way it's changed things after the fact. So it, it just sounded very fascinating to get the perspective of somebody, an American over in that situation. It's not told from the viewpoint of a soldier. So I'm really excited to read that. This book I picked up and put down probably several times when I was looking. It is Strange Candy by Laurel K. Hamilton. I'm sure a lot of people who read urban fantasy know her books. Um, she was actually the author who got me into urban fantasy. I picked up her, um, oh, this is gonna kill me, and I completely forgot the first Anita Blake, the first book in the series, but I picked that up. I'm sure it'll come to me after the video's over. You know, I remember picking that book up because I always had a fantasy, a fantasy, <laughs> a fascination with vampires. I think that was a little Freudian slip there. And I, but I'd only read like Dracula and those type of books, not an urban fantasy based on, you know, supernatural stuff and vampires. So when I started first reading her series, Oh, I fell in love. I fell in love with her books. I fell in love with the genre. And then if you've ever read her books, you know how they kind of go off course. And I don't want to spend a lot of time on that because that's not what this video is about. But she was one of those auto buy authors. As soon as a new one in the series came out, I was at the bookstore picking it up. I have a whole row of the first dozen probably of her books. and. And then I started, nah, you know, I was still interested in the stories and the characters. And I would, months later, pick it up, the next one up at the library and read it and then be disappointed. And then I'd read another one and, oh, this is kind of feeling more like the old Anita Blake stories and maybe I'll keep reading. And So she's now, she's kind of hit or miss with me. I never would have bought one of her books new but it was, I believe, 50 cents. Because all these books, all these books at this, this book sale are $2 or less. I think there's a few $4 like hardcover, brand new looking books. But for the most part, $2 or less and everything was half off because I went on the last day of the sale. So I figured 
I spent 50 cents. If it's one that I don't like, I don't like. It's a pretty book. I can stick it with all my other ones of hers. All right, I have one more book and then I'm gonna wrap this up. It's getting a little long. Empress of the Seven Hills by Kate Quinn. She is an author that I have not read, but I have wanted to read her for a while. Uh, I mentioned earlier, I love historical novels. Um, probably depends on the time period. I don't read all historical novels, but my favorites are ones that take place in ancient Rome, ancient Greece, ancient Egypt. That Those would be my favorite. And I actually was reading a series and I have or a trilogy and I have to pick up the, the last one um, by an author who, who wrote who writes about um, Cleopatra they're, they're really really good books and that author I follow her on Facebook and she actually really highly recommends Kate Quinn's books if you like her books you'll probably like these books and this is one that takes place in, in ancient Rome and I I just I really, really think I will enjoy these. I've heard such good things about her novels. So I'll read this and probably pick up some more of hers. And it's such a beautiful book. All right. So that is my book haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully you, you heard of some books that you've never heard of before. Maybe you kind of want to go check them out or pick them up and find something new to read. I mean, I don't know about all of you, but... Whenever I get in any kind of reading rut, you know, I, I have so many books and most of them are authors I know and I love and I'll pick them up and uh, I'm not in the mood for this right now. I don't feel like reading this book. What gets me out of that is something like this. Going to a little used bookshop, book sale, and discovering books and authors that I don't know, haven't heard of, or maybe I've heard the name, but I don't really know anything about them. And reading something that's something different, something, you know, maybe a different genre that I'm used to or haven't picked up in a while, or something that's out of my comfort zone, that will really, really get me out of that feeling of not wanting to read so if you ever feel that way I suggest you go to a book sale go to your local Goodwill something like that you know look for something that's completely different that hopefully will ignite that flame that passion for reading again it definitely does for me so I'm gonna end this video and probably get to some reading because I don't have anything else to do today so thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video